hey everybody this is angie also known as the light welcome to my channel please stop what you're doing like this video subscribe stay a while you won't regret it um if you'd like to make a donation please do so so the more donations i get the more videos i put out the more phone conversations that i book the more videos that i put out pretty much um so whenever you see me disappear it's because i'm not getting donations i'm not getting bookings um you know this is energy and this is light that i'm putting out there so i have to be compensated i've been doing this for four years so i have to make a business of this as well even though it's the healing business um thank you to those who do donate i appreciate you there are some people who donate every month and i really do appreciate you guys um, the donation um, information will be in the comment section. If you don't see it, comment at me and I will give you the information. I also have Zelle and I also have Venmo as well. Um, if you want to book a conversation with me, you can. It's $15 for 30 minutes and $30 for one hour. We can talk about a particular zodiac sign that you're dealing with. We can talk about narcissism or we can talk about spiritual experiences. Um, that's pretty much what I'm an expert in, so to say. All right, so this video is going to be quick because I don't have that much time on my phone. Um, pretty much something that I noticed about narcissists, and I'm not sure if I did a video about this, but their energy is like supersonic in a sense. And I do, you know, I always look at it in a spiritual tone. I feel that the energy is supersonic is because they're always draining everybody else they're draining their co-workers their family their lovers strangers they're always draining them of their light they're draining them of their spiritual strength and they have a lot of energy to do a lot of bullshit pretty much and i noticed that i'm sure like i wonder i i feel i don't know i guess i feel sorry for anyone who was quarantined with a narcissist because if they couldn't go to work, they couldn't go to church, they couldn't go, you know, to all these different places where they were actually picking up other people's um, energy. I'm wondering in my mind, like, then where were they getting the energy from? Um, so whoever's quarantined with a narcissist, I really do feel bad for you. But I noticed that when I used to hang out with narcissists, I couldn't keep up with them. I really, really couldn't keep up with them. So, I remember, um, this is back in 2006, well, 2005, 2006, I moved to Florida with a narcissistic friend. Trust me, I didn't know she was a narcissist at the time, but, um, you know, when I think back to it, this, this chick was definitely a narcissist. And I also, I didn't know who she really was. Keep in mind, uh, usually... It's people who live with the narcissist is who really knows who they are. So me and her were friends since I was like 13. And then she invited me to come to Florida to live with her. I wanted to get out of New York. I go to Florida and I move in with her. So we have an apartment together. And um, I noticed, keep in mind, this girl worked from like eight to three or eight to four every morning. So in order to get to work at eight, you gotta wake up at like at least by six take a shower eat breakfast or whatever the case is this girl i don't think i've ever really saw her fully sleeping and i know it's about narcissists too sometimes the sleeping pattern can be off um but they this girl she would party from thursday to sunday and she would go by herself. Keep in mind, I know that a lot about a lot of narcissists as well. They will go to parties. They will go to clubs. They will go to all these social places by themselves. They don't really need the ones to go with them. They're going to go get their fix. You don't want to go with them to the bar. You don't want to go with them to the club. That's completely fine. They'll go alone. So this girl, she would party. And keep in mind, this is a young, small, petite, little, cute little body girl getting dressed up in these slutty clothes and going to party by herself getting in her car driving to miami or locally in fort lauderdale where we lived and she would be going to the clubs by herself looking for supply guys it was crazy 
me i worked 11 to 7 so i couldn't go party with her i couldn't go partying with her anyway 11 a.m to 7 at night i mean 11 p.m to 7 in the morning i used to work but the days that i was off i would be looking at her like you going to the club again so this girl would work freaking eight o'clock in the morning but still be partying thursday friday saturday and sunday all the other narcissists that i hung out with they'll be like come on angie let's go they would want to drink seven days a week these individuals because of the particular spirits that they have on them they have to keep feeding these particular spirits this is why they're able to you're not able because you're of light so you're not going to be able to feed your spirit with all these dark entities and dark um dunes this is also why you drain out faster when you're around them you can't keep up you can't keep up with the, the clubbing and the partying seven days a week you can't keep up with the drinking or doing the heavy drugs or whatever you're doing with them you can't keep up with you know i had one narcissistic ex who wanted to have sex like i mean go three four five six seven rounds and i'm looking at him like you're not done yet they're not done because during during those acts they're draining your energy they're draining your light so when you're around these narcissists you're not you're never going to be able to keep up with them they can sleep with hundreds of people you can't sleep with hundreds of people they can drink they can eat they can do all these things that you can't do <laughs> because you don't have these demons filled in your body to where you have to keep giving them offerings okay so when you have these particular spirits on you you have to keep giving these offerings they are never going to be satisfied it doesn't matter how much sex you give them how much how many things you buy them how much liquor how much food it doesn't matter how much you give to these individuals they'll never be satisfied they have a spirit that can never be satisfied i mean i couldn't when well, my ex-best friend who was an arc i could never satisfy him that was that was a breaking point and i've told this story before where i remember taking him out to dinner the bill came out to like 300 dollars, and i paid for it i took him shopping that day i mean we went to a rooftop lounge and even after all of that somebody took me out to an expensive restaurant took me shopping for the day and then took me to a rooftop lounge afterwards i would be satisfied i'll be i actually i would be tired no this is what made me flip the flip flip on him basically i flipped the switch on him because i was like there's nothing i can do to satisfy this person he was never happy no matter how much money i spent on him you know how many nice things i bought him how many amazing places i introduced him to it did not matter they're never going to be satisfied they have to keep draining you and 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 feeding off energetically off other people they're never going to be satisfied. they're going to keep cheating keep sexing different people keep spending your money you're never going to satisfy them and with him i can never satisfy him never ever there was nothing i could do that made him happy basically and that's when i noticed that i remember that but it was that particular night that i had took him out all day and while we were at the rooftop he was like oh it's boring here can we go somewhere else and i'm looking at him like we done been all over new york city and you still not happy you still not satisfied they're never going to be happy they're never going to be satisfied but they have this this is why it seems like they have so much energy it's because they're never going to be satisfied and they have to keep feeding energetically those particular spirits that are on them hopefully this helps you understand them better um i will continue to do more videos and talk to you soon god bless